I just told you I didn't want to do no interviews. And you said you are going to do interviews. Now you told me to do interviews. Now you're trying to take me away from them. No. Let me show. Let me show. Let me show Dante's boxing nation some love. Uh, Maul, let's get into that. Inactivity. It has been a long time since you've been in the ring. Do you think ring rust will be a, a detriment to you in this fight? No, nah, not at all. I won't be rusty. Tell us why. Why Why not? I won't be rusty. It don't matter. I won't, I won't be rusty. No excuses. I got nothing else to say. No excuses. I hope, I hope you're not... Uh, you know, looking, thinking that I'm gonna be rusty, but that's fine. Like, think, think whatever you want to think. I've been training, even though y'all haven't seen me actually fight. I've been working, so I mean, you'll see. Dante's boxing nation. What's going on, guys? So Jamal Charlo, he just recently put up some photos of him putting in some work, him sparring, preparing for this return against Jose Benavidez. You guys have heard the saying, they say that pitchers say a thousand words. And you look at this photo right here, it shows Jamal Charlo's trainer with a big smile, a couple other people smiling. It suggests that Jamal Charlo was looking like himself when he was sparring. And when I say himself, I'm talking about before he even fought Montiel, which was over two and a half years ago. His fight against Montiel, that was his worst performance of his entire career. And it looked like his personal life started to take a toll on him and possibly affected his performance. I believe this Charlo versus Benavidez fight, it's a highly anticipated fight. Not because of how good Benavidez is, but because we get to see if Jamal Charlo still has it. Because boxing is such a mental sport, we won't know until we see the first round if Jamal Charlo is himself. You know, it's not just the fact that Jamal has been out of the ring for over two years that makes people wonder if he still has it. But my main concern is the fact that now when Jamal Charlo is talking, he seems to always be talking with somewhat of a slurred speech. I mean, his eyes look completely different. I mean, as if you can just see, just looking at his eyes, that he's been through a lot in the last two years. I was just looking at the press conference with Darren Yamchenko, and when you compare that press conference to the press conference he just had with Jose Benavidez, it almost looks like that press conference took place like 10 years ago when you look at Jamal Charlo talking. He's looking past me. His trainer, him, his whole camp, they're looking past me. They'll find out Saturday. So that was Jamal Charlo back in 2020 at the press conference for the Sergey Darren Yevchenko fight. Now I want you guys to look at him talking when it comes to the Jose Benavidez press conference. Tell us why, why, why not? I won't be rusty. It don't matter. I won't be rusty. No excuses. Now, there's also a big chance that this can mean absolutely nothing when Jamal Charlo steps in the ring against Benavidez, but that's the reason why this is such a highly anticipated fight. Jose is the perfect opponent for Jamal Charlo to see exactly where he's at right now. And if Jamal Charlo does not make this look like easy work, then he probably will never be the same again. The only thing that makes this fight intriguing is Jamal Charlo's personal situation and him being out of the ring. And even though sparring doesn't always tell the whole story, I think in this situation, it would definitely give us a great indication of what we can expect from Jamal Charlo when he steps in the ring with Jose Benavidez. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be an unbelievable card with David Benavidez fighting Demetrius Andrade in the main event, both fighters taking on the toughest challenge of their career. We'll see how it plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, 
Visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.